Hi, my name is Ryan Costa. Welcome back to Kickstart. And today we're going to be talking about conditional statements, which is a very, very important part of programming in Java and many languages other than that. So first off, what are conditional statements? So in an essence, conditional statements state condition, as by the name, and then if the condition is met, then a specific statement or segment of code is then run. So this is actually found in real life too. So for example, uh, if James's mom tells him that if James finishes his homework, then he can play video games. It gives James a condition, and if James meets that condition, then there's a statement or him being allowed to play video games. So in Java, it is used a lot, and the first example of this is with if statements, which are the basic example of uh, conditional statements. So for example, here in if statements, it has basically if condition, so you can insert anything there. Then if that statement is that condition is true, then it goes to the statement here. So an example of that would be if you make the integer donuts being equal to, tw to 12, sorry, then if donuts is equal to 12, it basically checks if the integer donuts is actually equal to 12. And it uses these two equal signs, which basically is used to check the equality of two different values or variables. So here is checking if the integer donuts, which was referenced before, is equal to 12. And since it is on the top, then it's going to immediately print out here with system.out.println, which basically just prints out a certain line to the user, that the box is full. Another example of conditional statements is with else statements. So these are basically the secondary level of this. So the if statement checks the condition, and then if it's true, this prints out the statement or it runs the statement of code. In opposition to that, else statements uh, do not need a condition. Basically, just needs the if before it to be false. And the if is false here, then it goes down to the immediate statement down here. So an example of this would be if you make the integer value of students being equal to 20 and the integer of chairs being equal to 12, the 19, sorry. So it checks the condition of students is equal to chairs. And since 19 does not equal 20, it will not print out all students have a seat since obviously 12 is not equal, 19 is not equal to 20. And then so it's going to immediately run the else statement down here, which is system.out.println. So it's printing a line to the user that there is an unbalanced number of seats as 19 is not equal 20. And then the final level of conditional statements that we're going to go, be, go over is the else if statements. So the if checks in condition, and if that's, uh, that's true, it prints the statement. If it's not true, then let's go down to else, else if, which has another condition with it, and then it runs the statement that's true. So it's basically just a second version of the else the if statement, but inside the actual original if statement. So for example, if you have the integer of students being equal to 16, and then the integer of computers being equal to 8, the if statement here is going to check if students is equal to computers. And since 8 does not equal 16, which is another basic math, then it will not print out here that all students have a computer as 8 does not equal 16. So then it's going to immediately go down to the else if down here, which is going to check again if computers equals 8 this time instead of if students equals computers. So it's going to reference back the integer variable of computers back up here. And since the computers up here does not does actually equal 8, then it's going to print out here each pair of students has a computer. And this is basically just a secondary if statement inside the original large if statement. So basically that's it for conditional statements as they're very basic but actually very important segment of Java programming. So the different concepts we went over today is what is a conditional statement? What are the difference between the if, else, and else if statements? How are they used differently? What symbols are used to check equality and conditional statement? Remember, it's two equal signs instead of one. And what is enclosed in the brackets following condition? As you have to remember, back in the examples that we used, it uses brackets to separate the different statements from the else if and stuff like that. So, thank you for watching.